Riding out the storm in simplicity. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I am still in a different location where I usually do my writing and channeling at the park. Uh, so we are still here having the aftermath of Milton. Uh, when Helene came, we didn't have really that much of an aftermath to get through. So in this one, we um, it really kind of had an effect, especially back to back, you know, with a lot of people. Uh, there is talk about, you know, another one coming here in a few weeks. However, that can change. So I don't want to focus on that right now. Um, but having the the change that we're going through now with what I'm experiencing, writing out the aftermath of Milton, uh, in my experience, you know, cold showers, <laughs> uh, fun experience, um, just living in simplicity. Uh, we have the basics, I have the basics. Um, and so with that being said, you know, I am was thinking about going out today and going around, you know, checking things out. However, I decided not to, cause I'm feeling into the energy and it doesn't feel that good to be going out. And I can understand that, you know, we have a lot of gas stations shut down, stress, trying to get out, get food, get things. Cause the Monday work week is coming. People are probably, you know, out there and uh, just, just assumption. But when I was out yesterday, you know, I could see what was going on. And so to go out today, I don't know that I want to make that journey. So I am debating if I do go out, you know, I will maybe take some videos and share what I'm what I'm seeing. But with that being said, you know, with the gas down, you know, I was in getting extension cords yesterday. Uh, for electricity to hopefully help, you know, with everything that's going on. And people were buying like Halloween stuff. <laughs> and it's really interesting, you know, if I get it, if you're out and you see the stuff and you just buy it anyway, but um, if you're making a trip just to go to do that, you know, that was an interesting experience to see that people, and it is important to get back with everyday life and not become overcome by it. And so, Finding something that is in the norm is important, you know, and if it is buying Halloween stuff, then so be it. Though with the contemplation of, you know, we have no gas, but if you're making in a trip to go to something that's maybe not a necessity, uh, you may find yourself running out of gas until they are able to supply it. So, you know, there's the things that you kind of want to look at, you know, in these situations of what's going on and how can I play this out to the best of my ability? And be present with myself. What am I actually doing? What is this necessary? Is this the point of action that I need to take at this moment? Or can I, you know, move past this and, you know, put my effort and intention into something more um, fruitful or fulfilling to moving forward uh, in, in that way. And so from that point of view, you know, just taking back and looking at ourselves, look at the scenario, assess what is necessary at this moment this time of moving through this devastation this aftermath so with that point being you know just wanted to share and come on and share that we are still moving through this at this point uh with milton and again the energy i'm not feeling like i'm <laughs> wanting to venture out but i do need to go out and get some sunlight some fresh air and so probably going to be taking a walk but the aftermath is still enduring. They are working on my internet. Actually, they sent me a message. It's been restored. Now we're just waiting on the electricity. We had a transformer that had blown from one side of the street to this side of the street. So neighbors have uh, electricity, but certain areas don't. It's still intermittent. You know, as far as the, in the electricity, uh, with that, but it looks like some of the places are open, you know, they're getting on their feet, they're getting back up and running. So that's a good thing. But, you know, just continue to keep uh, moving forward, you know, and, you know, moving and writing out this aftermath. Tema did put up for Milton, 
recovery efforts and what they're they're doing and handling. So finally, that came online yesterday, I believe. Um, I think maybe, you know, the biggest thing is getting the electric back up and getting gas in, right? And so those are looking like the uh, things that I, I'm seeing from my side of it, that would be the things to be concerned about as far as, you know, what is to continue to endure. But with that, you know, just take it in stride, move forward, be present, you know, look and see what is the focus on what is the most important for you in the moment. So when I had tuned in right before the hurricane hit, because I usually go into meditation. And so how it works for me is I will either get spirit coming in and being abrupt sometimes when I'm not listening or when I need to do something and I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I am in this human form too. And so although a lot of my time I am uh, out of the body, not grounded, you know, I still need that, you know, knock, knock, uh, and spirit brings that. So sometimes they do alert me in certain ways that I need to pay attention to. And so sometimes too, like when I'm busy and there's a message that needs to come through, they'll be like, sit down and write and I'll, I'll sit and write and everything will come out and then I'll have everything that I need. On other occasions when it's not really like necessity in those situations, it will, I will go into meditation and it'll appear there for me and I'll read the energy. And so right before, you know, the hit, what I received was, you know, that we're going to be okay, but not okay, which means, you know, there's going to be the aftermath to deal with. So we were going to make it through. So I didn't have any real concern about evacuating uh, from the point of view, though, <laughs> going through Milton, it was, uh, a little sketchy there. I was like, are you sure? Like, cause the whole house, like we didn't, we didn't have, you know, the flooding like we had with Helena, but we did have lots of rain. We did have very, very strong winds, things flying all over the place. And, but it still held together. It is an older house that I'm in. And with that, you know, it was shaking quite a bit with the, the winds coming cause they were pretty strong. And then at some point, you know, got very quiet and I was like, oh my God, is the eye coming? But it was actually down um, more south. So where it came actually across, you know, the eye of the hurricane. So I was like, so it must've just been like, um, what do you call those uh, when they go through? And then there's like a gap between it. I forget what they call it, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it, w it was very sketchy at certain points during the the whole enduration. And, you know, yes, I could have left. I didn't feel any need to. They didn't say to leave, so I didn't feel any concern. But with that being said, you know, I'm, I'm meant to be here to experience it. And then with that going into the meditation, you know, what I picked up was, you know, that there would be flooding in certain areas depending on the the areas you know lower higher between all oh, could be up to 10 or more uh, 5 to 10 uh, also could be high winds hurricane tornadoes and there were so many massive tornadoes all at one time and so luckily they weren't in my area they were more on the east coast and down further there was like mass tornadoes and in addition, you know, with the flooding, the tornadoes, the high winds, the hurricane, you know, the aftermath would be more of what I, I would be concerned in because of my, my, my area and what they were giving me for that information. But they had told me when I was reading the, the information that uh, everything was going to be fine. So I didn't really have any need to or worry to evacuate, just having to maneuver through the the aftermath of it. And so kind of want to share some of the experience that I went through. And although it does help me to see that, you know, I'm still, uh, even with where I'm at on my journey, you know, I do still will be experiencing certain situations in life because that's why I'm here. You know, I'm here to still participate and be in this life, um, have the experiences and to share the wisdom and knowledge that they are helping to bring through, um, you know, to help others and to share in that information. And I've highly learned to not depend, but 
to honor and listen to the guidance that I get uh, from spirit, from source, from, you know, the angels, the masters, the teachers, because uh, they have guided me ever since my awakening. They've been guiding me ever since, and I just didn't realize it and know it, right? And so, because there were things in my lifetime where I was like, well, how did that happen? And it, it made me question, you know, like, I'm the only one that knows about this. And how does other people know it? Because nobody else was around. So how did they find out? You know, and it was, uh, it was very interesting to see how that all played out before my awakening since childhood, all the way up to this point. And now I understand and know that, you know, we're, we're not alone. We have people on the other side, uh, you know, those who've passed over, angels, guides, masters, who are always looking out for us and helping to participate in our journeys, you know, as we're moving through it. And so a lot of times we may not be aware of it, but we may have this idea that comes in or this understanding, or I got to go do this, or I got this urgency or this feeling that we, that overcomes us to bring about the situation that we need to do in order to partake in the situation and sharing in this information is part of what, you know, I'm doing here, you know, coming back from the near death experience so I can help with transformation evolution and also part of my journey to still continue that um but with that being said you know we have all our own separate independent individual journeys and so everybody's part and piece and play in the role is going to be different based on where you are and what you're doing and so the journey is different for everybody and so again although i could have left uh headed you know maybe north or whatever the situation may be i didn't feel any need to evacuate but needed to be a part of here to be the observer because at some point too it was like i felt like i was being drawn to the the videos and everything that was going on out there and it was like this this draw this uh need to view and so it was like this observer part of me wanted to see and observe what was going on and so i was watching a lot of the videos that were taking place with what they were doing with the live videos, the cams, the news things. Um, because it was, I felt that there was this aspect of myself that needed to, and whoever was there with me sharing in this experience, they were viewing it as well. And so there's this part in this aspect of ourselves that bring this into fruition to help see things from where it is that we are and to see it from that experience uh, that plays a part in our role from what's going to be uh, our next experience and how that we can do and be a part and play in it uh, from that point of view. And so with that being said, you know, I've learned a lot just in my experience, right? And like I said in the other video, like like how unprepared that I am in these situations because I do live like a minimalist, right? And so it's like, I don't need these things. So I don't, really you know want it i just live with what i need because in the event if i do need to uproot then i can move wherever it is that i move without worrying about it right and so whenever uh it is time for me to uproot and shift i can just move freely without having like a whole house to move <laughs> you know and i prefer that though at the same time I do want to be prepared, you know, for any situations that may arise. And so I do need to start doing some of that and, and work on that. So there is a lot of information that I got from myself in my own journey, you know, from this, you know, about different perspectives, you know, um, that would be one of them. And then also how other people may feel when they don't have the things that we have and to be grateful. Right. And so the emotions of gratitude came up. The other day when I was out driving, you know, looking at all the workers that were coming in and all the experiences and just being an observer in the role. And sometimes we are just here to be the observer in any certain situations. And so you are a, play, a part in a play in a person uh, per se <laughs> that would be here in the experience, having the experience in the observance of it. Right. So you, you may just be the observer of a situation bystander or you may be the person that was being in the play <laughs> having it done to you or you doing it to another or whatever the situation you having the experience so we have all these different uh, you know things going on at the same time whether whatever role that you're playing and so part of that was me being here in that space observing 
from that perspective, being out on the road, looking at what other people were doing. Um, and it also came in, one of the other drop-ins were, uh, cause I was at Target getting some cleaning supplies. And, you know, with that being said, you know, some of the things came in, well, this is a really great way to stimulate economy. <laughs> so that was a drop-in too. Um, but at, cause I, as I go along, I have a lot of drop-ins and things to, it's like this dialogue communication that goes on, you know, between me, my higher self, my soul, and then whatever experience that I'm having in the world. And uh, so to blanket it, it it's not, a, you know, it, it can't be done. It's just the experience that I have uh, with a lot of things and being in tune with it and checking in with myself and being in that space of awareness and observing and listening. Um, as I'm in the world, playing in the world, I'm still connected, listening to what I'm being guided to do or where I'm supposed to go and things like that. And so paying attention is the important thing, you know, in our situations like this, when things do come up. And so uh, we do want to be, you know, present in our lives. And so when we're in chaos, a lot of times we can't be. Uh, and that can distraught and cut us off from our guidance, right? And so maybe we're told not to go down a certain road and then we end up getting into an accident, right? And that's why a lot of things I do, and I do want to reiterate that, uh, that a lot of times the things that happen to us don't necessarily have to happen, but it happens because we are cutting ourselves off or disconnected from our guidance, right? And so we're too much in the play without having that safe um, space, that boundary. Like, you know, they talk about the middle way per se, right? Instead of being in the play and not out of the play, but be in right there in the middle. So you have this connection and that connection and you're able to navigate both sides of the world. So I have one foot in the world and one foot in the spiritual world, right? And so from that point of view, you can play the play in a better way and navigate through it in these situations and like, okay, tuning in, asking the questions, seeing what you're doing, who you're being in the experience at that point in moments time and so when we can bring those together we're actually living in a different paradigm when you're living in the moments of both worlds and we're able to bring both sides together we're actually in a whole different paradigm is what they tell me from that point of view we can have a different experience right and so we're not we're having a view from the point of view of, of the existence of who we truly are not one or the other, the separateness, right? Because when you're not connected, you're separate, right? And you're not just oneness, but you're both. You're both in between both worlds, the realms of creation. And you're creating that from your point of view and you're following the navigation of who you truly are from that point of view, allowing that to come through uh, where it is that you are, that you're going through the situation that you're going through, right? And so, from the point of view, we don't have to endure certain situations. We can navigate them better and just have a better overall understanding in life uh, from that perspective. But those are things and that's how things come to me, uh, you know, when I'm needing to tune in and check in and see if there's anything that I need to do. And so I'm always, before I'm like, okay, should I go? What do I, I tune in and I listen and I question. And then if I'm feeling okay, yes, then I go. If not, then I don't. And so <laughs> yesterday when I woke up, I kind of woke up into this energy of like, oh, chaos. <laughs> it didn't feel so good. But I still went out and I was like, okay, well, let me check the energy because I, I did need to get some things. And I'm only going to go get the basics, you know, and of course, a lot of things were closed as I'm observing it. And I went early. So there was a lot of people not on the roads. However, uh, once it started getting busy, I was like, I'm out of here, <laughs> you know, and not to get caught up in that and not that it's a bad thing or a good thing, but, you know, it's, it can be very, if you've been in a tragic situation and you're out driving around in it and people are stressed, you know, and worried and, you know, upset or worried, anxiety, you know, you can feel it. Right. And so with that today, I was like, you know, I do need a few things, but I don't know that I'm going to be enduring <laughs> going out to get them. Um, with that being said, you know, we could take time and look at our situations and just kind of feel into it and just breathe and just 
sit quietly before we just take action and you know see what we receive you know from that point of view what are we what are we doing what do we need to do is this really necessary is this um, the right thing for me to do how am I going to show up how do I want to show up um, it's a lot of contemplation I do that uh, quite a bit and how do I want to be presented um, as I'm showing up right and with that being said at the same time it's not really understanding like I am worried about other people's judgment that and how I show up but how do I want to show up as far as be a part in the world? Do I want to be chaotic? Do I want to be hateful? Do I want to be um, rude and ignorant? You know, things like that. Do I want to be helpful? Do I want to be um, caring, genuine? Do I want to be authentic? Do I want to be helpful in some way? And that is what it is, uh, you know, how I navigate through life situations, uh, you know, whatever we're going through. And with the fact that, you know, without me going out, driving around, doing things that I don't really necessarily need to do, I'm saving gas for myself and for others because then that's gas that somebody else can use. So maybe they need, if they need to, to get to work or whatever the situation may be. And so, you know, spreading love on all different levels and seeing where you can help out doesn't always have to be, you know, giving money. It, it doesn't have to be about, you know, going out and feeding somebody. It doesn't have to be in certain situations. You know, you can do things and help people in certain ways in times like this by doing, you know, just little things like that, you know, and it's all really helpful and it's just trying to see in all the different ways that we can help maybe spare somebody else their suffering, you know, by being a participant, you know, in situation from a thoughtful kind of way and view, if that makes sense. Uh, what I'm trying to share here with that being said as well, um, you know, if we are allowing ourselves to be present in the moment, we can see all the different ways that we can share the experience from a positive way, not always make it a negative way and help each other out, you know, help somebody carry something out to the car, you know, <laughs> generators are heavy, uh, whatever the case may be. And although we're always like blinders on, you know, like the horses with the, the blinders, you just focused. And I've been focused in my life like that before too. Um, but it's time to take the blinders off and kind of not be so mainstream about certain situations in life. And that can kind of go across all, all timelines, of all experiences, all things that we're talking about here, because we have a lot of politics, uh, things going on at the same time in different areas, locations for different people, experiences. And when we take these blinders off, then we can see a whole different realm and world and be more helpful and participating in it, you know. And so with that being said, we can be uh, more in alignment with the oneness uh, of the great awakening and the changes that are going on that are taking place because everything has a purpose in it. And although we may not see that this has a purpose and role in it, it is setting us up for something in the future that is going to help bring about a new way of being in the experience in the existence of it, which is very powerful to know that, that even though I'm going through this right now, whatever that situation may be for you, whatever you are handling or dealing with, that is going to be helpful for something else later. Cause whatever you're going through now is the experience and existence of it. Like for me, you know, knowing that I, now I know have the necessities I need, like extension or something simple. Uh, that would help me instead of going out in the midst of a situation, a traumatic situation to get it. If I had it on hand, then, you know, I would be prepared. Right. And so this is helping show me some things uh, in, in addition, you know, and we just have to look at it and share in that, in that space with the awareness that it's allowing us to have from that point of view. And so my existence here during the hurricane was meant to be because I do have some things that I'm able to take away from it and, and share not only in my experience of it, but with you and to help maybe bring that through to you for your uh, purpose and your understanding that we are all here for a reason, going through the things that we're going through for a purpose, <laughs> for a, you know a greater good, a greater purpose. And though it doesn't look like it, a lot of people are suffering again, 
you know, in this tragedy that we're going to and sharing in, um, there is good things that do and will come out of it. So, because if I was always worried about how other people are going to perceive me, then, you know, of course, then I would be trying to be in my life for them. And I would have to act and dictate my life based on them, how they want to see or perceive me, which isn't going to happen, <laughs> you know? And so you do have those who like and dislike certain situations, certain things. And I get that. And there are feelings towards certain situations, like with my YouTube channel or things that I talk about, they may not understand or have the understanding you know, about it. But anyway, it's all good. Uh, but yeah, I just want to check in today. We do have, like I said, still no hot water, no electricity. Internet is back on, so that's a good thing. We're getting there little by little. Uh, gas is out there, very limited still. There's uh, notes of flooding still coming in uh, in various areas. So everything that I pretty much uh, got in my reading, I was making sure I was checking off. And I do that all the time just for accuracy. And because I enjoy doing that, <laughs> I like to make sure that I'm on point with everything that I'm receiving, that I'm giving, not just in my own daily life, but in helping others, you know, in the sessions that I do, uh, when I give them the information and allowing them to have the view that I'm having so they can use it to navigate their lives in the way that they need to navigate their life from the point of view of what I'm receiving to share with them in my sessions. So. If you're interested in a session, you know, drop me a line. I have the information below. You can reach out and book a session. And if you have any questions, drop those below too as well. Thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.